Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. I'll stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Thursday, the 1st of December, 2022. Uh, headed on to 6 o'clock. Not even 6 o'clock yet, and it's already dark out. <laughs> uh, it is 62 degrees Fahrenheit right now in Jacksonville, Florida. Humidity is at 73%. And come on, phone. 17 degrees Celsius. Uh, I am so not used to this time change. I don't like the time change. I don't like that days get shorter, but you know, there's not anything, there's not a whole lot any of us can really do about it. Just wait for the time when days start getting longer again, I guess. But, uh, anyhow. Do some highway driving tonight. Uh, two of the Grands. Um, I think they're 10. Man, it's so hard to keep up with ages. They're in fifth grade, I think. I think they're 10. I think they're both going to be 11 coming up. Anyway, their winter concert is this evening. Oh. Sorry. Watching traffic. The way these landscapers park out here on the road, you can't see around them. So anyhow, tonight is the winter concert, all vocals. We're going to this school now for 10 years, I think, <laughs> uh, maybe longer, um, yeah, probably longer. TJ's in TJ's in ninth, and he started out in pre-K two. So yeah, we're like twelve or thirteen years into going out to this school uh, for basically the same concert. Every year the kids get to participate. This will be the last year, though. Uh, the last two kids that I have enrolled in that school will graduate to go to middle school for next year. And the two little guys don't go out here any longer. They go to a school closer to them, which is one reason why I'm not calling them any longer. They get on the bus in the morning and take a bus home. So... I'm not needed as transport. It's just a good thing and it's a bad thing. It gave me something to do every day. But, I uh, just need to adapt. Hopefully this road isn't super busy. It doesn't look like it's moving all that great up above there. Either way, it's the fastest way to get to where I want to get. Concentrating on. Oh, Lord of mercy. See that? Traffic is stopped. What in the bloody blue blazes?
or if not stopped, at least barely moving. Oh, man. I've got a little bit of time. I think I left early enough, but still. I think part of the problem is people don't know how to merge. Like, you just have to let them know that you're definitely coming over. And then come over. It's the wrong time of night to be out here. I know this. Anytime between 4.30 till like 7 o'clock, all the roads around here are crazy. I don't know if you can see off to the to the right there. That's St. John's Bluff. That, that used to be a two-lane road, one lane in either direction. Now it's two lanes in either direction. And it's always crowded. Oh, man. Oh, well. We are having some crazy, crazy weather this year. All over the, all over the country. People are still battling with snow storms and tornadoes. We were under a tornado watch the other day. I didn't even realize it. We are several degrees cooler than normal. Um, we aren't we aren't setting any records, but we're anywhere from three to ten degrees cooler than recent history would, would have you think. So and there's that's a big difference, ten degrees. I mean it's sixty what did I say it was sixty two or sixty three, you know? Um seventy two seventy three is a lot warmer or feels like a lot warmer than that. 62, 63. Uh, it's not real bad. I mean, I'm, I'm not like freezing in the house or anything. I'm hard. I'm barely running the like the heater in the bathroom, which is the only heat I ever run when it is cold. I've got a small space heater in there. I live in Florida. I've got big air conditioners and little heaters. When I'm on the computer, I'm just wrapped up in an electric blanket. So, or I go out into the kitchen, I burn a, I burn one of my little alcohol burners for a couple minutes while I'm getting my electric griddle or what have you warmed up. That will toast the room up quickly. Like, real quick. So. But for the most part, it's just, you know, wear a, wear a pair of uh, long pants and a, and a t-shirt. By long pants, I mean something like jogger pants or uh, light lightweight sweatpants lounging lounging pants I think is what they're called so uh, it could be a lot worse I could be up there where people have snow and it's uh, in the in the single digits or negatives so I 
express lane entrance. That's a scam for you. They spend our taxpayer money to put in an extra lane and then they want us to pay extra money to put a little sticker on the windshield that scans it so we can ride in that new lane. Well, it's easy. They got brave enough. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm going to need to get over here in a minute. Can't cut him off. Alright, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. There you go. Thank you. <coughs> oh, anyhow. Tomorrow night I have to go downtown to the Catholic Cathedral. My 11, one of the 11 year olds, he'll be 12 here soon. Um, He's in the band. He's been learning to play the trumpet. And tomorrow night they have, again, it's their winter winter concert or something. Uh, nobody says Christmas anymore. I guess it's not PC. They have, you know, winter break and spring break. But anyway, needs to be downtown tomorrow night. Might actually be a little easier to get there than it is getting where I'm going now. Hopefully I'll be able to park somewhat close and not have to walk real far. have my I don't have my scooter it's over at the oldest daughter's house in the garage uh, see hopefully I can stay yeah I can stay in this lane maybe I can stay in the lane there we go some of y'all may remember this section of road from when I was hauling the boys. Back when my riding and ranting started. Uh, I'm not even sure how far, how long ago that was. I don't think I called it riding and ranting either. Driving with Doc or something. But, uh, I had a somebody messaged me after watching my my little find from yesterday. That little little flashlight that I found uh, Tuesday night. I did the video on Wednesday. But somebody messaged me about going in and watching my ranting and ravings or riding and ranting videos and uh, it got me got me thinking you know that started like I said just babbling away while I'm on my way out to pick up the boys I think it actually started while I was sitting there waiting for them to get you know while I picked them up and then it kind of morphed into driving and y'all looking out the windshield like you're doing right now. And eventually turning that around 
so y'all can see me babbling. But there's not enough light to do that at the moment. Wow, look at all the traffic coming in on the right hand side there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks like everybody's going to zipper in the way they should. Uh, so I don't know if we're going out to eat after the concert. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Nobody said anything. I don't know. If we don't, I'm over here to the edge side of town that I don't get to very often anymore. And there's a couple of stores that I might hit up. Depending on what time we get out. It's usually usually only about an hour. So we shall see. Not that I really need need anything at the stores, but at least that's what I can think of at the moment. Start walking through, it's like, oh yeah, I did need. And in fact, I do need. I did. I do need mayonnaise, but I'm not going to one of those type of stores. So. That's one of those things I thought I had I had the extra jar in the in the pantry. But I cannot find it. I'm not out out. I don't like to get I don't like to run out before I replace, you know, like the mayonnaise is down to maybe I don't know, a half inch in the bottom of the jar. You know, enough for half a dozen sandwiches or so. Um, but I'd rather have it on hand. And like I said, I thought I had, I thought I had it on the condiment shelf, but I don't. And I also realized that, um, I need to restock my ketchup and a few of the other, a few of the other condiments as well. So... That'll be a trip coming up. Once I find a, a free evening to go shopping. I've been running every day this week. Doing one thing or another. So, anyway. We are right here at the last turn. So, I appreciate you all coming along for the ride. Listening to me babble. And uh, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share them around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We promise our next breath. Until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fan day. Slaunch it, y'all.